Liberty Wolfpack. Good afternoon, Wolfpack. My name is Caleb Beatty. And I'm Richard Pickett. Today is Wednesday, May 8th, and we're here with your afternoon announcements. AP exams are this AP exams are this week and go into next week as well. Bring your ID card to be able to log into your student view. You are allowed to bring snacks and water. If you do not show up at an expected exam time, you will be charged with a $40 cancellation fee and will not be able to retake the exam. Please make sure to review the schedule and arrive on time. And if you have any additional questions, please contact Ms. Chase or Ms. Anya in the Student Services Building. Good luck, Wolfpack. Attention ASB members. This Friday, May 10th, is the last day ASB will approve paperwork for PO processing, check requests, and more. All open POs will be closed June 30th. If you are unsure what is in your account, you can ask Ms. Johnson, the site controller, or see Ms. Henderson for any questions. The yearbooks are out. People who pre-ordered a personalized book will be hand-delivered during today's ADVO. Some seniors who may be in AP testing during AVO, so please notify the deliverers of them being absent from the class so they don't miss out. Seniors only are able to pick up their pre-order books from the student ticket window today after school until 4.15 p.m. Please also bring your ID. For the other students who pre-ordered, tomorrow on Friday at the stadium, pick up your yearbook and make sure you bring your ID. Online sales end tonight and any books left will be on sale starting tomorrow in the student store. Any extra books after will be given away during Senior Sunset next Friday. Thank you to the yearbook staff who worked tirelessly to, to create this year's yearbook. Girls Softball Senior Night is here. The ceremony starts at 3.45 p.m. after school, and the actual game starts at 4. The team is up against Davis, so good luck, ladies. Speaking of sports, let's go over to Ethan and Devin. Hey there, sports fans. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Devin Steffen. And this, this is your, your sports update. update. To start things off with the swing, in boys golf, Yuvraj Barr has shot a significant 76 in his last, last match, which makes him qualified to go on to Masters Tournament. Just wanted to say congratulations and good, good luck, Yuvraj. And as of now, the majority of the school sports seasons of our school has concluded. So, I just, so we just want to say good job to everybody for their performances, no matter what your record is. Congrats, guys. Now, in the world of boxing, Naoya Inoue is climbing up the divisions, first starting off at the uh, light flyweight division, and now the junior featherweight champion. After overcoming a first-round knockdown by his opponent, Luis Neri, he managed to fire back by, three, uh, by hitting Neri with three uh, knockdowns which the last one becoming a technical knockout, therefore Naoya retaining his title. Wow. In the NBA news, it's the semifinals for both the Eastern and Western Conference. In the Western Conference, it's the Lakers versus the Pelicans, while in the Eastern Conference, it's the Pacers versus the Knicks. They have already played their first game in their respected series so far with the Lakers and Knicks. Well, that's all from us today, Wolfpack. He's my best bud, Devin. And he's my boy, Ethan. See, See you guys, guys next, next week. week. Thanks for the update, guys. Are you interested in making a difference for students like you on campus and in our school district? Student Equity helped write the new district dress code, our district student bill of rights, and more. Come check out Student Equity Council after school tomorrow, May 9th, in HP3 at 3.45 p.m. and learn more about SEC and how you can make, get involved. This week is Staff Appreciation Week. This morning, staff and students had a grab-and-go breakfast from 7.30 to 9 a.m. Thank you to everyone who helped donate and supported our staff this week. Seniors, today, May 8th, is the Senior Awards Night. Come join us in the PAC at 6 p.m. for awards, pictures, and more. Be sure to dress formally and arrive on time. We hope to see you there. It's time to check out our entertainment. Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm Aubrey Scholl. And I'm Isaac Robles, and welcome back to your, uh... Your? Uh, what, what segment is this again? I forgot. We have too many. I've lost count. Anyway, welcome back to your entertainment. Starting off with a Kendrick and Drake beef, two of rap's biggest artists have been releasing diss tracks aimed at each other and their careers. And from what started as one diss track, titled Like That by Kendrick Lamar, quickly escalated to not two, 
not three or four, but eight heated songs. Started as This started an intense feud between both of the artists and their fans. And although both of these big names have had previously collaborated on projects together, it is clear that their relationship is tainted enough to deliver lyrical blows to the other's image. However, despite listeners' concerns, Kendrick and Drake are still rising in popularity, despite this feud. In other entertainment shenanigans, the 2024 Met Gala, which aired Monday night, was a massive, su massive success despite the backlash it received early on when its theme was first announced. In fact, this year's broadcast drew in over 800,000 peak viewers, setting a new record for the Vogue channel. In addition to the celebrities that had attended previously, this year's event particularly brought in new many designers and celebrities that called for new interpretations of the theme, The Garden of the Time. Some of the highest rated looks by viewers include Elle Fanning wearing Belmain, Zendaya wearing Mason Margiela, and Tyla, who also wore a Belmain design gown. Make sure to check out some of those looks online and discover the newest emerging fashion of 2024. Well, thanks for tuning in. He's Isaac. And she's Aubrey. And let's, let's go, go back, back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Wow, that sounds cool. This Friday, May 10th, is our VAPA Gala. Come join us in the PAC from 7 to 8 p.m. Admission is free and seating is first come, first serve. It will feature performances from each of the visual and performing arts disciplines, as well as VAPA awards and recognition of VAPA specialized program completers. We hope to see you there, Wolfpack. Come join us tomorrow for our eighth grade band and orchestra farewell concert. It will be held in the PAC from 7 and 8 p.m. Admission is free and seating is, of course, first come, first serve. Performances will include the Elizabeth Pinkerton 8th grade band as well as the EPMS and COHS orchestra. Come howl with us, Wolfpack. Well, that's all we got for you today, Wolfpack. Have a great rest of your day. I'm Caleb Beattie. And I'm Richard Pickett. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy National Coconut, Coconut Cream, Cream Pie Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.